Today I will show you how to extract, how to group, and how to align some genes, and also how to do phylogeny in genus. So right here in this genome, if I want to analyze this ORF, this gene, PE38, I want to click here in extract, and here I can choose the, the name of this extraction. Here is the genome name and the gene name. So here is the amino terminus portion of this gene and the carbox terminal portion of this gene. If for some reason you want to analyze this in the reverse sense, you can do the reverse complement here in this option and that is ready. And you can do it back if you want. To align a gene, you will need to compare it with one or more genes. And I will give an example with, with this isolate AG01. I will take this gene that is basically the homologous gene and extract it with this name. So we can select both. Here it will show you, but it, it is not aligned yet. So we must go here in pairwise align and click in one of these alignments. I will go with mapped. It is actually up and I will show you how to, to download it. It is in edit, in tools, in plugins, and you can go right here in available plugins. Mine is already installed. So you just click here in install. And here it is. The green part of this analysis is basically the same parts and these gaps right here are the different ones. For example, this nucleotide is different in those genes. Another way to extract them is selecting both genomes that you want to analyze. I'm going to search for PE38 right here and you just select both with control and click on both and extract PE38. And that's that's done. They are already grouped, but I'll show right now how to group them manually. So if I extract this PE38 of Alabama Argillacea nuclear polyhedrovirus and this PE38 of AG01 they are in separated documents but i can gather both in group sequence into a list and i can also name this group i will call it pe38 group this gives us some advantages like for example if i select this tree i will realize that in this genome agmnpv2d the gene PE38 is divided into two different ORFs. So if I just select them by control and click on extract, it will give me four different sequences as if they were four different organisms. So I don't want it. I want these two sequences just like it and a third one with both ORFs aligned. It. So if we extract one at a time, we will get the result that we want. Right here, for example, Alabama Argillacea, extract, yes, extract these two with control. Okay, and now, we have this. We can change this name by edit name here. And if you want to, and we'll click with the right button of the mouse and go in group sequence into a list. I will call it PE38. And now, for example, I will align it right here in multiple align, mapped. And that's it. Look at this diversity. And you can also align whole genomes. For example, if I aligned this isolate with this one, 
I will go here in align whole genomes in align and assemble in these default options and give an OK. And here we have the alignment view. This just compare the this whole genomes with these regions in green, yellow, and the gaps that represent the diversity, the conservation of some nucleotides. In this right portion right here, we have the GC content and the identity and other things besides this MOV genome alignment viewer that we can compare these genomic blocks. For example, they are both collinear. You can notice this as I go passing this mouse cursor along these sequences and they are moving together. If we do it with this genome and it Right here, we can see that they are definitively not collinear. <laughs> if we pass this mouse cursor right here, you can you can notice that they are different genomic blocks. Besides, they are very different, as you can see here in the identity. You can also use this plugin right here, Fast Tree, that is a kind of basic tool to do the phylogeny of, of some documents like genes or whole genomes. For example, right here, I have this alignment of 21 different P38 genes. And it is required that you align these documents to do the FAST3. It is pretty simple. You just click right here, FAST3, and give an OK. And here it is, we have this option of viewing or this one or this one. You can zoom zoom in, zoom out. You can also do this phylogeny to whole genomes or just the common genes of this genome. You can use your imagination to prepare the documents with the tools you learn here. And basically that's it.